The pandemic challenged all of us as leaders. Uh, many sitting here would wonder how do you think leadership styles need to change in a post-pandemic world? Because people now see the world differently. Yeah. To be able to motivate, align your workforce yeah. to achieve management goals, how do you think we need to change and evolve as leaders? So I think, uh, again, several, several trends that you can already see. So one of the important ones is uh, a tremendous amount of focus on ESG issues. So it's already people are yearning for more uh, understanding of what is that role that uh, business can play. You also see a much heavier focus on purpose, much more than we have seen in the past. So the idea, why should someone come and work for a company? What is their broader purpose? Of course, we always want long-term profitability because without that, there is no sustainable business. But what is the broader purpose for someone to uh, come and work? And I think from a leadership point of view, it has raised issues about uh, resilience. So how do, you, how do you build resilient organizations that are able to contend with the uncertainty that you were describing earlier? How do you act speedily? Because I think you can't now work at the same pace that you were working at before. So leadership uh, in that, so agile speed. And then just being very resourceful and adaptive. So I think it has caused the focus of leadership to shift in these ways because of the events that have transpired. Now you mentioned the great resignation. I think one yeah. of the big issues yeah. managements in HR departments the world over are grappling with is trying to get the workforce back into the office. Yeah. And now that so many people are used to working in their pajamas, they see no <laughs> point in getting ready, putting on a suit and a coat and a tie and showing up at office. Yeah. So is this the way you think it's likely to stay? What's your advice to management trying to grapple with? You want those young, talented employees. You'd ideally want them back in the workforce. But that young, talented resource says, hey, I can be on a beach in Goa. I can be up in the hills in Leh. Why should I come to the Mediaplex? You know, it's uh, actually fascinating to think about what some of the data already shows. It shows, on the one hand, individuals wanting this flexibility that you were just speaking about. But on the other hand, it shows a desire for individuals to want to stay connected in some way to the work that they're doing. And of course, these are sort of contradictory in some sense. On the one hand, you want a lot of flexibility. On the other hand, you want some uh, connection. And I think what this is things that will, I think, work out over the next uh, a uh, few months for sure and perhaps uh, next couple of years. But I think what, given this tension, what organizations are trying to think about is, is there some innovative way where you can actually respond to both? Mm -hmm. So for example, organizations are thinking about anchor days. So where you get the ability to have this community that we are uh, speaking about, but not necessarily everyone showing up at the office all five days in a week. Uh, because of this uh, flexibility desire as well. And I think there's a lot of experiments being run at the moment. And we know that even in very desirable jobs, when executives said, no, you have to come for all five days, people are saying, no, thank you. And how do you then create those cultures so that you can actually have people coming together and uh, working together, providing this flexibility? And so individuals are and, and HR managers are, are grappling with this idea about uh, how do I have these anchor days so that people will come. But what is important is trying to think of those days, and this is a major HR challenge, I think, across all, uh, all companies that we've interacted with, which is how do you have those days where it is attractive for someone to come? Even then, you don't just automatically say, yes, you'll come, although I think there will be a little bit of that push as well, but the pull of how do you make it attractive for uh, individuals to come. So I think it's uh, there will be many experiments run. I think at the moment everyone is saying, let's try a few different things to see how it will work out.